Greetings, curious acolytes of the Force, and welcome back to the Archive. Yoda is the undisputed avatar of the light side of the Force, the Grand Master of the Jedi Order, and living for nearly 900 years in the Jedi's teachings. During that time, Yoda had plenty of exposure with the dark side, but made it a mission of his own to always remain in the light no matter what. We have done many speculative holocrons analyzing Yoda and why he would never fall to the dark side, but today we are going to take a look at the one time that Yoda did finally dip his toes into the dark power and what resulted from it. Many may be familiar with this scenario, which comes from the Legends novel Yoda Dark Rendezvous, but what many forget to pay attention to is what exactly led up to it, as it is fascinating. In a conversation between Yoda and Dooku, the Jedi Master actually asks his fallen apprentice to teach him the ways of the dark side. In the ensuing debate, we finally understand Yoda's thought patterns as to why he doesn't desire the dark side and doesn't give in to it when the temptations arise. Of course, in the end, he gives in for just a brief moment to show just how terrible it truly would be if Yoda were ever to become a Sith. But then, Yoda pulls back, proving once and for all that the dark side isn't stronger, and we can hardly wait any longer, so let's review this holotape. Our scene is set on the world of Vajun. A daring mission has led Yoda right to the front door of Count Dooku's palace, or rather, should I say, the window. Yoda comes right through the window and into Dooku's personal office. However, something is distinctly different about this interaction than the one before on Geonosis. No force lightning and no lightsabers this time. Both of these masters note that it would just be a waste of time. Rather, they actually sit down and have something of a cordial discussion. In fact, Yoda doesn't even come right out of the gate talking about the elephant in the room. Instead, they just start talking about Dooku's childhood and the roses outside in the garden. This whole time, Yoda is the one who is totally relaxed and Dooku is the one who is on edge. As the tension rises, unsure of what the old master is planning, finally, Dooku cuts right to the chase and gives Yoda a spiel about how the Jedi are being puppets of the Senate. Yoda, though, more or less just gives him a bored look and flat out tells him that he didn't come all this way to be lectured about the Jedi. Pausing for a moment, it's almost amusing to see just Yoda shut down all the political talk with Dooku. Yoda is a Jedi, not a politician, and he has no problem asserting his authority in the room by letting Dooku know exactly why he came. Finally, Yoda says something that completely catches Dooku off guard and unbalances him entirely. Turn me, Dooku. I beg you. Show me the greatness of the dark side. Yoda hasn't even yet tried to talk Dooku down or get him back to the light. This time, Yoda goes for a different approach, one that we see proves to be absolutely genius, asking Dooku to truly explain to him the ins and outs of the dark side from his perspective. Yoda does hear what most likely no Jedi Master has probably ever done, which is giving a stage to the dark side and allowing it to be pitched to him. Yoda sits and begins inquiring with pure curiosity, humbling himself down to being the learner to his fallen apprentice. The first thing Yoda asks is, tell me if it is hard to find the power of the dark side. Dooku takes the bait, deciding to play along and to start to explain it. Dooku says this, no, the lore of the Sith though, that is another matter. But to touch the power of the dark side to begin with and begin to know it, all you have to do is to allow yourself, relax, we carry the dark side within ourselves. He goes on to talk about how the dark side is merely the second half to the force that makes it whole, a perspective that encompasses everything the force has to offer. He finishes by saying, to know the dark side is merely to stop lying. Stop pretending you want what you want. Stop pretending you don't fear what you fear. Half of the day is night, Master Yoda. To see truly, you have to learn to see in the dark. Yoda muses for a moment and then surmises that what Dooku is saying is that the dark side would give him power. Dooku confirms this and then Yoda simply responds by this. Very fine that is, but Yoda has power. I live in a palace bigger than this one. If you count the temple as a palace, Dooku is a master of armies, but Yoda is a master of armies too. So far, we are even. Power over beings, need I not. What else can it give me? The dark side of yours. Right here, Yoda shows that with gratitude and humility, one can be happy having everything that they want and that they do not need the dark side. 
The Jedi Master says in essence, when one looks around at what they have, many times they may realize that they have just as much or even more than those who use the dark side itself. Yoda begins to embody the principle of the light. So then Dooku tries a different route here. He says this, What do you want? Tell me what you want, and I will show you how the dark side can help you achieve this. Do you want friends? The dark side can compel them for you. Lovers, the dark side understands passion in a way that you never have. Do you want riches, endless life, deep wisdoms? Then Yoda drops a bombshell on the whole thing by simply holding up the flower in his hand, taking a big sniff of it, and simply stating that he wanted a rose. Dooku begins to lose his temper and tells Yoda to be serious, but the old master is insistent that the rose is all that he wants. At first though, this may seem like an amusing moment that would remind us of the crazy old master on Dagobah that Luke encountered. However, when you really examine this moment, it's secretly brilliant. Dooku stands there and declares that the dark side can achieve anything that one desires, but then Yoda counteracts this in an effective way by entirely testing to see what the dark side can do, as to desire a rose is a humble request. In fact, Yoda proves this even more by beginning to urgently demand that Dooku use the dark side to produce him a rose, acting as if having the flower is an insatiable desire. Dooku finally loses his patience with the old master, seeing exactly what he is doing. He and Yoda then start going back and forth, as Dooku tries to get him to have selfish desires. Want something else, Yoda. Want power, says Dooku. Power have I, responds Yoda, but Dooku tries again. Want wealth. Yoda again deflects it. Wealth I need not. Dooku has just about had it at this point and plays at one of Yoda's greatest weaknesses, his feelings for others. He says, want to be safe, want to be free from fear. This finally gets through to the Grand Master, but Yoda finally shows what years of wisdom has taught him. He says this, I will never be safe. The universe is large and cold and very dark. That is the truth. What I love taken from me will be late or soon. He then goes on a list of many things that the Jedi had lost over the years, how they were family to him, and that he knows one day everyone that Yoda cares about will die, and there's nothing that he can do about it, only to accept it. At last though, Dooku pounces on this notion and urges the Avatar of the Light one more time. He says, so be angry about that, hate, rage, despair, allow yourself just once to stop playing at the game of a Jedi Knight and admit what you have always known. You are alone and you are great. And when the world strikes you, it is better to strike back than to turn your cheek. Feel Yoda. I can feel the darkness rising in you. Here, in this place, be honest for once and feel the truth of yourself. And now, the moment that we have been waiting for, Yoda begins to realize that unless he shows Dooku the errors of the dark side, he will never see the truth. Yoda also realizes that in order to gain Dooku's respect and understanding, he will have to taste the dark side for himself, only once. I also can't help but imagine that Yoda is at least a little curious and wants to see exactly why so many Jedi have fallen into the allure of the darkness. Yoda despises the dark side because of how many Jedi it has claimed, even his old apprentice and friend that stands before him. I'm almost certain that Yoda deeply wants to answer the question of why. Why have so many Jedi succumbed to this power and allowed it to completely destroy their lives and the lives of so many others? We are going to go ahead and read this final passage from the novel. The novel says this, At this moment Yoda turned, and Dooku gasped. Whether it was the play of the holomonitors beaming their views of bleak space and distant battles, or some other trick of the light, Yoda's face was deeply hidden in the shadows, mottled black and blue so that for one terrible instant, he looked exactly like Darth Sidious. Or rather, it was Yoda as he might have been, or yet could still become. A Yoda gone rotten, a Yoda whose awesome powers had been fully and utterly unleashed by his connection to the dark side. In a flash, Dooku saw how foolish he had been trying to urge the old master to the dark side. If Yoda ever turned that way, Sidious himself would be annihilated. The universe had yet to comprehend the kind of evil that a Jedi Knight of nearly 900 years could wield. From the shadows, Yoda snarled in a wicked, wicked voice. Give me my rose. In the end, Yoda returned from his wade into the dark side and very frankly said that he didn't desire that power. 
Dooku was left trembling from fear at what he had just witnessed, but Yoda actually comforts him and reminds him that his master will always be there and will always be there to catch him when he falls, and that he can always come back to the temple at any time. With that, Yoda leaves Dooku for good, leaving it up to him to make this decision. We all know that unfortunately this interaction would come to nothing since Dooku's heart remained in the darkness, but I think Yoda definitely changed something in Dooku that day. I believe that Dooku was reminded about the grand scheme of the Force rather than just through the lens of the darkness. Dooku even acknowledged that Yoda in the dark side was far more powerful and more terrible than even Sidious. Dooku even admitted that trying to urge Yoda towards the dark side had been outright foolish. But I think it is so fascinating how Yoda had completely dismantled Dooku's arguments for the dark side proving that it was no use to those who were happy with going about things the honest and hard way, rather than choosing the quick and easy paths to power. Yoda didn't even desire power, but he did state that he already had it by virtue of him remaining faithfully dedicated to the light side. The one thing that Dooku desired was for his children, the family of the Jedi, to remain safe and to remain happy. But that was one thing that Yoda had long accepted to be something that he could never achieve which is the essence of the light. He didn't let himself become caught up in trying to do so, and rather, tried to accept the will of the Force. Perhaps if Yoda had used the dark side in Order 66, he might have saved more of his Jedi, and maybe even stopped the Emperor. But at what a cost. Yoda already accepted that very soon, everything he cared about could be taken from him, and likely would be. When he let go of that attachment, and accepted the inevitability of death and loss, the dark side had no way of holding him. Yoda does say that he is tempted by the dark side like everyone is, but that he knows the secrets that the dark side doesn't, and this is why he will never fall. But my friends and acolytes, tell me what you think about this incredible interaction. Do you think that Yoda should have given in to the dark side to save the Jedi from extinction, but again, at what cost? Or do you think that something far worse could have come from it? And furthermore, do you agree with what Yoda says about the dark side as a whole? Let us know in the comments down below. And as always, my friends, may the Force be with you, and I hope that you have a great day.